Okay, let's look at this exercise here. Here we're having a cylinder. You can see the shape there. That's the length. And that's the shape. We can see it's a cylinder with a square hole going straight across. And then the square hole goes right through. Then we have a type of L bracket that goes straight forward, which protrudes from the cylinder. It acts as a neck up till there. And then it goes forward by this section there. If, as you can see, it goes forward right to this plate here. This plate is in the form of this shape with two holes in it. So you can start with single extrude by drawing the shape and then extrude the cylinder backwards and then extrude that forward and then cut into it and extrude forward and then cut into it. But uh, I'm showing you double extrude on this one. Let's go and draw the cylinder first. Let's get to, to draw the shape. And I'm going to draw this part here as it is here because I'm going to make use of double extrude, extruding this way and that way. The same with the hole, the same with that neck, and the same with that plate. So let's do it and then I'm going to fill it afterwards. So let's go. Let's take it away. Let's open a new drawing. Let's sketch on the work plane XY. And I'm going to start with a cylinder. Right, rectangle. I'm going to draw this rectangle here. It's one. It's the first one. And obviously there's a hole in the, in, the, in the center of this. If you double extrude, your hidden detail needs to become solid lines. Important. If you double extrude, your hidden detail need to become solid lines. I can see the diameter is 50, so I'm going to type in 50. Let's bring this back. Uh, you can see that it's 50 there. So I know that the distance from that point downwards to there is 50, 5, 0. And now let's look at our rectangle, which is 25 by 25. So I know... I know that the height here is 25 millimeters. But what I also want to do here is do a coincidence to make sure that these points is properly in the center. Right, both of these are nicely in the center. If it wasn't, you would have had a point for this rectangle and then the point for the other rectangle. So that's fine. But let's first check here. Let's search for the points. Yeah, we've got two. Sorry for, for that. So I'm going to click on the one and then the next. Say cancel. And we're clicking on the one. Go for the next one. And that takes it exactly to the center. Beautiful. Okay. Now let's start to draw the neck. Rectangle. I love to draw with rectangles. There's my neck forming there. And going all the way in that direction. And we also have another rectangle. Make sure you follow that line there. Doing that. Okay. Let's put in the dimensions. The dimension for this neck. From this line to there. Is 64. Enter. Enter. The thickness of this neck from that point to there is 12. The distance from this point to that center is 38. That's what we have. And this also needs to be 12. So we're going to put that in as 12. Okay, that's no problem. Let's go to coincident. I want this center to connect to this center here. So it will go central again. Okay. The height, this is also a, a width of 12 as well. There's a, a width of 12. Enter. You don't have to worry to put the dimensions down properly because this is not the actual drawing. The actual drawing will be 
transferred onto the drawing function of Inventor, where you're going to use ISO IDWs to be able to do the drawing function. I'll show that to you later on. But for now, you can just draw and put the dimensions where you want to. The first uh, assignment was just to for you to remember the dimensions needs to be in the center and placed neatly. Right, we're looking for the height here. Okay, let's go back and look for the height. We've got a radius of 20. In other words, the diameter, the distance from there to there is 40. So the height there is for zero going straight across. It's for 40. For zero. Enter. And we are happy about that. And let's go and trim. Trim. One, two. And I'm going to go fill it as well. Let's go look for fill it. Our fill it there needs to be I'm just checking the fillet. Okay, we're going to make it 12 because I see no fillet there. Uh, size there. So we're going to go for 12. And we're going to go for 12 there. Right, we're happy with that. We need to trim that away. Okay, that's what we have. Nicely done. Now I'm going to double extrude. E for extrude. Before we go further, I'm choosing the cylinder there. And it's double. And I know that the size is 50. 50 millimeter in diameter. Also the rectangle is 25. So we're going to extrude a rectangle by 25 wide. And this will be 50 wide. So that's 50. Don't worry about the rect rectangular shape. It's easy to get it in the form of a circle. I'm going to the left of the browser bar, clicking on plus sign, right click on the sketch and click share sketch. Now I can extrude. E for extrude. I'm clicking on the shape in the center. I'm going to go for a double and I know it's 25 millimeter wide, but it's a hole. That's why I'm clicking on cut, cut and OK. If we extrude again, I'm clicking on there. Right. I'm going to go for double. And I'm going to look at the width. The width of that piece is 40 millimeters. As we can see there. It's 40 millimeters in length. So I'm going to type in 40 there. For zero. There's our 40 millimeters and say OK. I'm clicking if we extrude again. Click on that little plate there in front. Go for double. And let's go look at the width quickly. Our width there is 70 plus 20. Radius from there to there plus 20. It's 110. So that is 110. And enter. And now let's finish, finish this off. I know that. I'm having a diameter of 50 and it's double extruded to a square. So I'm going to go to my radius. I'm going to go to modify, fill it, and I'm going to type in 25 there because it's a, from this distance to there, it's 50. That's why your radius will be 25. Click on each corner and it will take the shape that you're looking for. Apply. That's what we have so far. Now looking at this shape here, we're going to go to modify again. And I'm going to go look at the radius there is 20. So we're going to type in 20. And then click on there. Click on there. And the same on the other side. Apply. We are happy with that so far. Now for the holes there. To get the holes, you can go and sketch on any surface again. Right? So you click on sketch, 2D, where do you want to sketch? I want to sketch on that surface again. So I'm clicking on the surface and now there's the surface. So on that surface, I'm going to draw my two holes. I just need to find out where's the center. That's the center there. I can see and onto that line. So clicking, it's hole number one. And the same, I'm going down and hole number two. I know that these two holes are equal. 
and let's uh, put in the size. The size for these holes is 12 in diameter. And the distance between them is 70. Seven zero. Enter. Okay. Um, we need to get this to the center. So I'm going to choose to click on that little dot there and, and there and then type in 35, which is half. And it will take it exactly to the center. If we extrude again, click on hole number one. Click on hole number two. And we want to cut. Click on cut. It automatically goes in that direction. Make sure it doesn't go too far. It might cut into your drawing, but we can see it will miss the drawing. If you're, if you, if you're unsure, please decrease the value for your extrusion. Let's say we make that three zero and say OK. And now that's what we have. I'm going to give it the color. I'm going to save this and call it, let's say, P2 double extrude. Save. Okay. We're done there.